Я люблю. Спасибо, Гео. Не знаю, где ножу и модель. senior trainers here at Shamu Stadium, and I'm out here to let you in on a little secret. Um, we, uh, we're going to go on with this next segment of our show, which we call Far Greater, and that was our plan, uh, but the whales decided they had a different plan. So right now, what we're going to do is take a little break from the show. Uh, we're going to let them sort out whatever it is uh, that's going on back there, and then hopefully we'll uh, get on with the show right where we left off. Um, now, while, uh, while they're back there doing that, the trainers are uh, watching the whales, and basically what we were trying to do was, uh, we have uh, two sets of families back here, and we were actually trying to move one of our families uh, to one of the other side pools and bring that other one up, uh, because they were going to go on with the next segment of the show. And that first family that you saw out here at the beginning of the show decided uh, that they didn't want to do that, that they'd rather just swim around back there. So, in the meantime, I get to come out here and explain to all of you a little bit about our day here at Shaver State, and about our shaving family. Um, so we use uh, positive reinforcement with all of our animals here at SeaWorld, whether uh, it's the smaller animals like birds or the otters or the sea lions, all the way up to the killer whales. And I'm sure all of you have seen this uh, throughout the park. How many of you have seen us feeding fish to the whales? A lot of them. All right. Well, how many of you have seen us uh, giving the whales nice back rubs or belly rubs? A lot of that too. Yeah, we have a lot of different ways that we re reinforce all of the whales. And by having a variety of different ways that we reinforce them for all the behaviors that we're asking them for, it makes it more likely that they will want to do these behaviors. And now if a 6,000 pound killer whale doesn't want to do what we're asking, they don't have to. Case in point, so we were asking them to go back to one of the side holes and they didn't want to. Well, there's no way that we can make them. So what we do as trainers is that we take a step back and we basically bring very little attention to the situation at hand or to the behavior that we were asking them for. Um, by bringing very little attention, it makes it a little bit less reinforcing for them, so hopefully uh, they'll choose not to do that next time. And by bringing lots of reinforcement, 